Welcome to the next video in my dev blog slash tutorial on making some plugins work together so that we can get a multiplayer game working with a dedicated server, have multiple clients connected to it um, with some assets from the marketplace. Today, um, you'll notice there's a couple different um, things in here. We've got a secondary mound, like sitting in front of the thing we've been looking at previously. We also have this beautiful looking ocean in here. That's one of the plugins we'll talk about here in a second. And then also you can't really see it in here um, because it's uh, it's not you know fully activated in this particular mode yet, but um, we're making use of the dynamic sky and dynamic weather plugin as well. So we're show showcasing two plugins that you can purchase from the, the uh, marketplace that really kind of give you a ton of functionality and depth uh, to your game for um, some real world dollars. Um, all right, so let's kind of profile um, the dynamic sky and weather one first. Uh, it's two components here. Uh, I basically just had to uh, get the plugin working with my Unreal en Engine uh, version. We're using a source because uh, source version because we need to build the dedicated server. Something to keep in mind. Um, and so you got to do a little bit of extra stuff to make it work. But we've got the dynamic sky plugin. You'll notice. Um, we've got it set to uh, Thunderstorm here, and uh, if we just hit play, it'll switch over um, into a much more dynamic mode where you can see lightning, you can hear um, the wind blow, you can hear the rain, you can see the rain. It's got all sorts of fun stuff going on here, and um, in this particular uh, mode, it kind of drowns out some of the other stuff we're going to highlight in a second with the... Ocean, uh, with the Oceanology plugin, but um, looks pretty awesome here. I really feel like I'm stranded in the middle of the ocean on a on a deserted island with my my clone. Um, so again, this is the Dynamic Sky and Dynamic Weather plugin. All sorts of stuff you can do with it. Um, and for the next portion of the video, um, we're actually going to showcase. Um, we're going to turn off the thunderstorm and set it to partly cloudy, so you can see beautiful. Beautiful day out here on the ocean. All right, cool. Um, second part of the video, uh, the second plugin we're going to highlight is the uh, Oceanology uh, version five, and this is a plugin that's installed for the specific version of the editor that you're using. So we can just go and take a look at the plugin here, um, Oceanology. Oceanology version five. They just came out with a new version. All sorts of fun stuff in it. Um, I would encourage you to take a look at their page and and read up on it, but version 5.01 I think was released just today, and in fact I think while I was making this, version 5.02 just came out, so the developers are active, they're listening to people on Discord, got great help when I was there on how to incorporate it in with the Voxel Plugin Pro, which is what we're using to build our dynamic train here. Um, well, uh, one of the things that people are asking about is, is why are you using the Oceanology plugin versus isn't there just this really awesome new water functionality built right into the Unreal Engine. Yes, there is. In fact, I tried to make it work. Um, I saw a cool video where they showed like rivers and flow control based off of splines and lakes flowing into oceans. Um, the problem with that is it makes use of the default Unreal um, land mass and landscape components. Uh, so if you don't have a an Unreal landscape, you'll notice there's none in this list of things here. We've got our voxel world, but we don't have um, any Unreal landscapes. So if you don't have any Unreal landscapes, the default water, um, all the cool water stuff can't really use. Um, I saw a technique where someone put in a plane uh, using a water material on it, but again, a little bit less than what I kind of want to go for. Um, and honestly, the folks that built Oceanology know their stuff. Uh, this is looking fantastic, and you can actually see it interact with the voxel stuff. So if we kind of zoom out a little bit, um, you can notice, like, or zoom actually closer into the shore. You can see that it kind of froths up against the shore, um, and it gets lighter as you get into shallower water, just like you would in the, um, like, in the Bahamas or the tropics or something if here in the U.S. Um, you can see, like, if you're right here on the edge, there's no clipping plane. You can see it's actually transparent both below and above the water, so it's rendering all this cool volumetric clouds above it. Um, uh, that the um, ultra dynamic sky is rendering for us and all sorts of fun stuff. So um, I thought it was worth it to uh, integrate this in because it works right with the, the Voxel plugin pro, which is kind of what I'm using as I eventually want to do this as a whole, whole planet, but 
We'll see if we can get that far. Right now, it's just a flat plain. It's got a flat ocean. It's really nothing else in this entire world except for um, this one landmass that we've created here. So, all right. Um, again, one of the things that people want to see with this is this is fine. It's running in the editor. Um, we can hit the play, play button. And you can notice while we're up above ground, we've got this uh, nice little uh, ocean wave sound going. Um, we can go underwater. And you can see, uh, I don't have the swimming animations hooked in from the ocean uh, oceanology plugin yet, but we'll get there in a little bit. So it's just, you know, running on the bottom of the ocean, uh, SpongeBob style. But um, as we leave the water, you can hear the waves again. And now uh, my clone and I are just hanging out up here on the uh, on our deserted island in the ocean. Uh, one of the things I want to showcase is uh, actually this working with a dedicated server with multiplayer. Because remember, that's one of the goals of this project is that all of these things can be used as a dedicated server, not just you know local connection, not just um, you know spawning stuff instances locally inside of the gaming engine. So just want to make sure everything connects and compiles, uh, stuff like that. So. Uh, right here again, we're going to go to our familiar packaged builds. I've pre-packaged built these. Um, and so we've got the dedicated server here on the left. We'll just start this up. Um, I haven't yet quite fixed whatever this thing is that's going on. Looks like some networking related thing. Um, but we're actually going to start up a full screen version of this. You can really appreciate like how gorgeous these two plugins work together. So if we open up um, localhost here, log in, connect to the server. Um, this was the look that I had the last time I played and saved. Um, you can just look around and just see the sky above is awesome, looks amazing. Um, uh, from the um, Ultra Dynamic Sky plugin, um, the water again looks fantastic from the, o the Oceanology version 5 plugin. Um, and uh, you can hear the ocean around you. If you've got zero headphones on, it might record that way. Uh, if we go underwater again, it switches the, um, the sound to underwater noises using ambient sounds. Um, come back out on top of the water and you can start to hear the ocean again. Um, come up here with our clone. And uh, we can just hang out here. And let's actually give this clone a little bit, a little different look. Um, We'll give her um, a t-shirt and some cargo pants because she's, a, this is basically how I dress. I'm just going to put that out there um, just to give it a little bit of a, a different look and feel. Um, and um, let's actually give her some sunglasses because it's sunny out. So we know which twin is which, um, Mary-Kate and Ashley. All right. So we're going to have this here, turn it around, face it down to where we're actually going to spawn our other, our other player down here. So um, remember, this is one of the clients that we pre-built. So this is packaged for Windows 64-bit, um, but we'll start up another instance of it. We're actually going to make this one windowed so it's a little bit smaller. Um, and we are going to drag it in over here, um, down into the left so we can actually kind of see what's going on here in this main window and uh, if we just connect uh, open to the local host to the local server you'll notice hey they appeared down there on the uh, island you can see that again the animations and the movement are synchronized um, we can hear the ocean in the, the closest window we can go underwater um, see that here. Um, we'll actually come on over here. So you can see her. I want to get the swimming animation in because that'll look great. Um, but you can see it's all synchronized with the ocean. She's coming in and out of the water. It's going to come on up the side here. And this is something that I ran into a little bit earlier. I don't fully understand why, but um, looks like this client is not able to see it. I don't fully get it. We'll be able to figure it out at some point. But uh, if we just give her a different look and feel. If we just give her a different preset here, um, and maybe a sweater, and hit save and close, you can see that the, the clothes and the sweater and all that stuff was synchronized. Um, 
and uh, between the connected clients. Uh, then if we switch back to the full screen mode, again you can see all this stuff is multiplayer, gorgeous water, it's interacting with the voxel plugin, you can see kind of how it's creating this foam over here, it looks really good, uh, very realistic, um, the most realistic water I've seen basically ever. Um, and uh, we go under here, you can we're swim around underwater, come back out and we can air stuff, so that's full circle. All right, cool. Well, I think that's kind of the, the tour. Um, again, just to kind of go over the two plugins we had. I've mentioned them a bunch, but I just kind of want to make sure that uh, people are aware of what they are. We've got the Ultra Dynamic Sky and Ultra Dynamic Weather giving us uh, all this fun weather. Um, and then we've got the Ultra, uh, the Oceanology 5, 5.01. So, uh, Fantastic. They all work, seem to work together. I'm using um, Unreal Engine version 4.26.1, uh, built from source so that we can build the dedicated server. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them below. Um, I hang out in all of the various uh, plugin channels, so if you can uh, hit me up there as well. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, uh, and if you're interested in using them, I'd suggest looking them up at the store and see if it might be something that you might want to use. Alright, appreciate it. Thank you so much.